Hey guys, this is Mick and today I'm going to be doing book review number six. And the book that I'd like to talk to you about today is this book, Leonardo da Vinci by Walter Isaacson. Walter Isaacson has written a couple of great biographies, but this is actually the first book that I read by him and it's incredibly interesting. It's fascinating, it's easy to read and the stories are incredible. It really describes the life of Leonardo da Vinci from his birth all the way to his death. What's interesting about Leonardo da Vinci is that you might know that he was a very curious and very creative person, a really truly a renaissance man. But you might know, don't know that he could spend hours watching the water drip into the pond and see how it makes waves because he wanted to learn how to portray that motion into the painting. So he could spend hours and hours watching at birds flying because he wanted to find a way of portraying that motion in the painting. What is curious about him as well that he was very um, interested in many different subjects. He was not very good at math, but different things that he described and he really imagined and he really tested is something that actually came through uh, centuries after Leonardo's death. What's interesting also is that he was one of those people that would take a lot of project of paintings and uh, he really uh, take any almost any project but at the same time there's a lot of projects that he actually failed he was very uh, big on perfectionism he was really a perfectionist that's why a lot of big um, paintings that we know right now like uh, the last supper or the mona lisa smile actually uh, stayed with him and we only know uh, about them because he actually owned them he never ever released it to the public he never sold them because he would make changes to those paintings years uh, and years afterwards like for literally uh, Mona Lisa he was uh, making changes two decades after the initial time he started painting it's incredible it's incredible to learn about his habits he was a very great note taker and uh, he probably has done one of the best um, anatomy drawing at the time and if they were released early probably the science of anatomy and biology has could be accelerated by centuries so it's incredibly great uh, and interesting book to read and i would rate it 9.5 out of uh, 10 and i highly recommend it it's uh, you will learn a lot of things about Leonardo da Vinci, but you will learn a lot about creativity, a lot about perfection, a lot about history. One other fact that is interesting is that he actually was a friend with uh, Mikhail Veli, who wrote The Prince. And it's interesting how at that time, uh, the world was, the, the center of the world was in Italy. And um, everything that happened a lot of political and economical things that happened, Leonardo da Vinci was at the center of those events. Thank you very much and I see you next time.